In the Users tab, you can manage your campus users by inviting them to your campus, setting their role within your campus, and assigning them to specific courses in your campus. So over here, I'm in my Users tab, and as you can see, I don't have any users in my campus. Uh, I access the Users tab by clicking Users in the upper bar. By default, when you're entering, you see the course directory, and you simply click Users to access the Users tab. So the first thing I want to do here is invite some users. So I go over here and click Invite Users. Now this is going to launch the invite user dialog, so I'm just going to enter in some basic information. So the first one I'm going to invite is uh, myself, and I'll set him as an instructor. So I, in the roles, I click the role drop down menu, and I have three different permissions. And we'll go quickly over what each one is. A student is, is simply a participant. They can only access the courses that are active, that have a plan assigned to them, uh, and that the instructor is actually in the room of. Uh, instructors can access only the courses they're assigned to, but they don't need to have a plan. So if you have an inactive course, your instructors can still access that course and either create the self-paced course and just get everything ready for when the course is active and ready for the students. The admin is somebody that's going to be able to do everything the instructor can do, but also manage the billing for your organization. So this is just a way to assign someone else to help you out. So I'm going to set uh, myself up here as an instructor. And now what I do is I, I see these courses. These are the courses that I have currently in my organization. So I'll set uh, myself up as the instructor of New River for Instruction and also designing online courses. Now I could leave the checkbox over here, invite more users as checked. That means when I hit invite uh, that the, the dialog will clear and uh, enabled me to add more users. Since I want to add an additional user, I'm going to leave it checked and I simply hit invite. Now you can see that the, the pop-up kind of cleared and in the background you see that Sam has uh, uh, been invited, he's been added, and you'll see some information that we'll look at in a second. The next thing I want to do is invite a student. And we'll say that the student doesn't already have a new row account, they're just uh, somebody that uh, I want to add to my organization. So I'm just going to put in uh, Jane Doe, and I'll put Jane Doe's email. And I'll leave the role set as a student, and I'll add them to the same uh, courses that I added uh, myself to earlier. And now I'm done inviting, so I don't want to invite any more users, so I'm just going to click Invite More uh, Users to deselect it. And now I'm going to click Invite. Okay, now as you can see the pop-up uh, is dismissed and now I have two different users here. I see myself with my avatar. When I say myself, this isn't actually the user I'm signed in right now. I'm signed into a different account. So I just sent uh, the Sam at New Row account um, and added him to my campus as an instructor. Now when he signs in, he's going to see those, those courses. As for Jane Doe, Jane Doe doesn't already have a new row account, so they just have a default placeholder for their avatar. An invitation email was sent to them asking them to uh, add, create the account so that they can access their courses. And that's what we see over here with the status pending and registered. If the user is already a new row user, then they'll be added to your campus automatically. If they're not currently a new row user, then they'll see a pending status. Now you can continue to add users, uh, your students and your instructors until you have a complete roster. When they are signing into their new row accounts, they'll see under your organization the courses that are relevant to them.